Hi, welcome to Stories of Art. My name is Karel Huidekoper. I've been getting a lot of questions lately about mythical creatures. The sort of creatures that you read about in literature, that you see in art once in a while, and don't really meet that much in nature. Well, I've been getting questions of how do we know so much about them? And as art historians, we have our sources. And, and that's why I've decided to make a series of videos on mythical creatures and what to do if you meet them. Today I'd like to talk to you about the basilisk. But before I start, this would be a really good moment to um, subscribe to my channel so you can get all this information on all the new videos I make and um, you won't miss any of this vital information. Of course, if you like this video, please give us a little thumbs up as well. But let's get to the basilisk. It is one of the most dangerous animals, perhaps the most dangerous animal on the planet. We have descriptions of it. It's actually mentioned in the Bible twice. Um, as far as I could find, it's in uh, Psalm 91, where he walks over the lion and the basilisk. And uh, in Isaiah, it's mentioned as well. But in the Bible, it's only mentioned. We have descriptions of it from very different sources. Throughout the ancient times, the ancient world, the Romans, Greek, and so, so on forth, uh, and in medieval times, we have descriptions of nature, usually called bestiaries. And some of the most useful, entertaining bestiaries were written in medieval times, called medieval bestiaries. But our main source for the basilisk is before the Middle Ages, actually Pliny the Elder, he was a Roman, uh, died in the year 79 in the eruption of Vesuvius that killed Pompeii. He died in, in that. And he wrote several books about natural history, actually 37 of them. And in these books he talks about animals that you and I would recognize and about a number of animals that haven't made it into our regular curriculum anymore. One of those is the basilisk. He doesn't tell us that it's a mythical creature. He believed it was as real as an elephant or a giraffe. Now, what is a basilisk? You might know the name from the Harry Potter series. Uh, if you don't, and you still have to read the books or watch the movies, then spoilers are coming. I'm going to talk about it. Because in Harry Potter, it is a huge animal. It's enormous, and it and it takes wizards to summon it, and it takes wizard to kill it. In, the, um, in Pliny the Elder, it doesn't. And in many other of the medieval bestiaries, it is simply an animal people said existed. But what is it? Well, when a snake makes love to a rooster, then the rooster has to lay an egg on a dung heap. That dung heap then incubates the egg with its heat, and what hatches out of the egg is a basilisk. I'm told this is a rare occurrence, and that's lucky. Because what comes out, this basilisk is a mixture of snake and rooster. So it has the, the feet of a rooster, it has wings, and um, often the face of a rooster, but it has a snake's tail. And it is extremely dangerous. Because it can kill you with its breath. Its breath is toxic. But that's not the only thing. Its bite is poisonous, venomous. So it can kill you with a bite, like a snake. But it doesn't have to, because it can kill you just by looking at you. And uh, if you see the eye of a basilisk, man or beast will die. That's what they usually describe. They're also very, very difficult to fight. Because if you stab it with a, let's say, a spear, then its blood will travel up a spear, and when it touches you, you die. And even the horse you're sitting on. So, a difficult animal to deal with. But luckily, there are defenses. The best, of course, is if you know a basilisk is in the area, get out. But another thing you can do described in these medieval bestiaries, is you can pull a bag over its head. If you do that, it has a 
two big advantages. One is it can't look you in the eye anymore. And the other is its toxic breath is actually poisonous to the animal itself. So it kills itself with its own breath. Seems simple enough. Except, of course, for the problem of having to put a bag over the head of a small, probably quick animal that is that can kill you just by looking at you. So, luckily, there's another defense. Ideally, what you do is you just release a weasel. That's it. Basilisks, uh, they're terrified of weasels. Because weasels, they are not affected by the breath. They're not affected by the looks of uh, that, that can kill everything else. They just kill basilisks. So there you go. A bag and a weasel and you should be fine against the basilisk. Now I'm going to make more of these videos on mythical creatures and if you don't want to miss it you really should subscribe to my channel and um, of course give it a like as well. There's even a little bell uh, that you can touch and then you get notified whenever I put up a new video. And in any case thank you very much for listening. See you soon. Bye.